Welcome back my loves. Today's video is all about tips and tricks on how to deal with greasy, oily, or just dirty hair without having to wash it every single day. Because first of all, nobody has the time to wash your hair every single day, dry it, and then style it. And second of all, it's not healthy for your hair because you actually dry it out even more when you wash it every day. Let's get started. So the number one quick fix or short-term fix for our greasy hair is obviously dry shampoo. I love it. I use it weekly and daily basis just because I have a very active lifestyle. So my hair gets dirtier a lot faster. So the dry shampoos that I love are definitely a lot cleaner. They're more plant-based rather than chemical. So my number one, I think, would be Chloron. And I really like this new brand. I think it's pronounced pl Playa. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong, but I think it's Playa. This is their pure dry shampoo. It is incredible. Also can layer it very well without it weighing my hair down and actually producing extra excess oil in my hair. I will list all of my favorite dry shampoos for blonde, for colored, for darker hair in the description box. If you guys are interested, I will have them down below. So the way I use dry shampoo to kind of give that longevity to my hair in between washes is before the gym, Every single day before the gym, I apply it to completely dry hair. And then after the gym, I either, if I have enough time, I will air dry my hair completely. Or if I'm in a hurry, I will blow dry my hair very quickly. And then I'll add the dry shampoo to my roots, just where there's a lot more oil buildup. That's where I will apply it. And then make sure it sits in there for at least 10 to 20 seconds. And then massage it into my scalp and brush out my hair. Very easy. Very, very amazing. The next emergency or quick fix for your hair is obviously a do-it-yourself dry shampoo, some kind of powder that will absorb moisture. For example, baby powder, cornstarch, cacao powder for darker hair. But obviously, I wouldn't recommend using that on a daily basis just because it's not really geared towards your hair. So you wanna find a dry shampoo that works great with your hair and just stick with that. So the third emergency or quick fix is anything alcohol-based because alcohol, it draws out that moisture and it just dries everything out. So the main alcohol products that I like using, for example, are hand sanitizer. Obviously, it's not this liquidy. My nieces added water to this because they wanted more hand sanitizer. So hand sanitizer, perfume, because the main ingredient in perfume is obviously alcohol, we all know that. And then obviously, alcohol wipes. So it's very easy. I like to use very little of any of these products just because alcohol, it will dry you out. So you wanna be very gentle. So the way that I like to use these alcohol-based products are in two areas. Right here in the front of my hair, that's where I produce a lot of sweat when I work out. So right here from the top to like around my ears and then around your sebaceous gland. That's where you produce most of your oils in your head. So basically in the back of my head, kind of massage it in, work it in, and it just dries everything out. The next quick fix is going to be hairstyles for greasy hair. These are the hairstyles that you want to have the texture and dimension that kind of are away from your scalp, not just sitting on it and just collecting more oil. I actually just did a video for you guys. If you wanna check it out, there's three of them. They're simple, they're easy, and they look amazing for greasy, oily, or dirty hair. And this brings me to my next point. If it's beyond repair, <laughs> This is where head scarves come in, bandanas, or a hat. We all have those days where we simply just don't have time to wash our hair or do a hairstyle, so headband, scarf, or hat come in play. So the next tip is along the lines of different hairstyles, but this is how to keep that volume and how to train your hair to get that volume on short, fine, thin hair like mine. Just because it's not sitting directly on my scalp, it's cleaner and it's just a great hack. So what you wanna do is you wanna change your party line from time to time. Honestly, every single day I have a different party line just because I like the different look, I like the different style, and it gives me so much more volume and my hair looks a lot less dirtier than it actually is. If you guys want more hacks, I did a video on 10 different ways how to get more volume and how to train your hair to keep that volume on your head. The next tips and tricks are going to be for that long term to keep your hair a little bit less greasy, dirty, and oily. So the first tip that I had to do for myself was to retrain my scalp to stop washing it every single day because actually it dries out your hair even more and your sebaceous glands think your hair and your head needs more oil. So they're actually working overtime every single day. So that's where I had to use these little 
fast tips and tricks like dry shampoo, alcohol to help retrain my hair. And it might take a week or two to go from one to two to three days. But overall, just keep at it. Keep listening to what your hair needs, but try not to wash your hair every single day. Use that dry shampoo, work with your hair, and you will get through it to not wash your hair every single day. The next tip for me was not using so much conditioner. I would always run out of conditioner first before my shampoo, and now it's shampoo versus conditioner because I only condition the mids to the ends of my hair, sometimes even the ends, and that's it. My scalp does not need it. I already have my natural oils working through it, so try not to use so much conditioner at one time unless you have like 10 feet long hair that you need to condition the mids to the ends. <laughs> The next long-term tip and trick is cut back on those hair styling products. In this case, less is more. Unless you have this special occasion and you want your hair to stay in place for a month straight, that's when you go all out. But for those everyday hair days, you don't need that much hair product, less is more. And last but not least, this long-term hack tip and trick is the hardest for me because it's all about food. I have to stay away from simple carbohydrates, sugars, and anything processed. I am a professional snacker in life, so this one I have to struggle. And just because it makes me a lot more sweaty and I produce a lot more extra excess oil that I do not need. So this for me is less is more again. I don't overindulge, but I let myself once in a while snack here and there, but not every single day. And there we have it, some of my top tips and tricks on how to manage my greasy hair in between washes to keep it as clean as possible. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let me know some of your tips and tricks down below because all of our hair is different. Something that might work for me might not work for others. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.